The Beretta M9 has been the U.S. Army's workhorse handgun for 30 years, but now the Army is looking for a new sidearm and putting the contract up to bid. So Beretta, an Italian gunmaker for 500 years, is re-entering the fray with an updated design called the M9A3. So we traveled to Beretta USA's headquarters in Maryland to give it a try. The M9A3 is like its older brother, the M9, which you'll recognize as Mel Gibson's pistol of choice in the 1987 Warner Brothers movie, Lethal Weapon. It's also similar to the M9A1, which Beretta developed for the Marines in 2006. We went down to the one-lane shooting range in the basement of the factory. Here we go. That's some, nice, though. You know, it's like a, it's got some kick to it, but it, it can handle it. Like the structure can handle it. So that felt a little bit different too. That also felt a little bit more more solid. I don't know if I was holding it differently, but this gun is so similar to the M9. So I think my perception of this one is primarily this, the, the fatter grip. It just feels feel more, more comfortable. Feels your hands yeah, better. Yeah. The yeah, M9 a has a few upgrades. For one thing, it abandoned its trademark black design for a sandy hue that mimics the desert. The new guns magazine is also said to be sandproof, another feature that caters to wars in the Middle East. And the new gun can be loaded with 17 rounds, which is two more than the old one, because you never know when you're going to need that extra shot. But the new gun isn't a done deal. Beretta will need to compete with other gun makers like Smith & Wesson to keep the contract it's had for 30 years, because every gun company wants to be the Army's lethal weapon.